anchor here on the other side of Honeymoon Harbor so I can cook my lobsters here. This is a nice one. It's a really big. Real big. I'm gonna open it and I'll put it in the fridge so I can eat it tomorrow. Today I'm gonna eat lobster. Now I have to hit it like right up here. In this little knot right here. All right, so now let's get a screwdriver, stick it in there. Nice piece of meat. All right, I'm just gonna cut the eyes. So I'm gonna save this for fishing tomorrow. I can eat a piece right now. See that piece right there? Tastes awesome. So the whole meat is already cleaned. Now I'm gonna cut it in some type of slices like this. Sideways. And then tomorrow I'll make some conch fritters. Has plenty of meat. Now I'm gonna place it in a Ziploc and put it in the fridge. And this is gonna be a nice treat. I'm gonna batter it and fry it. Now I'm gonna put it in the fridge. All right, for tonight, I'm gonna make lobster pasta with garlic. All right, this is all the lobsters. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut them in half. Should have brought a scissors. With scissors, you can cut these lobsters a lot easier. How beautiful these lobsters are. Lobster, uh, they do shed their skins. This is the vein right here. And 
This time I'm going to do a little, something a little different. I'm going to cut the lobsters in little pieces. Everything you do here with fish or uh, lobsters, it's a messy preparation, but it tastes really good at the end. And all these lobsters were cut today about two hours ago. Came back to the boat, clean up, cleaned the uh, conch. When you boil them, it's a lot easier to take them out of the shell, but this way it's just a little harder to take them out. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna cut it in pieces. That plane is going to uh, cat key. When I uh, speared this lobster, it came off the spear because it was soft lobster and the skin was very soft now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the lobsters in pieces because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute it got different colors here so lobsters look how beautiful that looks now I'm gonna cut the garlic Okay, here have the pasta, some butter, and why not? Okay, I'm gonna get a garlic. Actually, I'm gonna get two garlics. Cut this garlic real thin. How thin that is. Cooking with a diving knife. Now I'm gonna turn the skillet on. I'm gonna add the garlic. Okay, the garlic smells really good in the butter. Now, I'm gonna put in all this lobster in here. Smells really good, it smells like a lot of garlic. Now this cooks a lot faster because the lobster is in chunks. I'm gonna eat a little piece. Looks too good. Oh. That's awesome. Great flavor. Now, I'm going to put the pasta in. Look how that looks.
now I'm going to leave it there about 10 to 15 minutes. Look at that. Here's pasta lobster with four lobsters. Always cook more because um, you can always eat it the next day for lunch. All right, let's see how this is. Tastes amazing. A lot of flavor in the lobster. Like always, there's nothing like Bahama lobsters. And the garlic gave it a good flavor. Way over there is uh, Honeymoon Harbor. Just got here. And I'm already eating lobster pasta. Now the season for lobster is going to be over soon. I believe uh, April 1st. If you think about getting lobsters after April 1st, you have to wait to, I think, August. That's why I wanted to come now, because the coronavirus uh, epidemic, they might close uh, leaving the country. That's it, I can't eat no more, but I have food already for tomorrow. And this pasta gets better as you refrigerate it. It gets a lot better. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then I'll put it in the fridge. All right, I'm gonna show you how the radar is working. You see all those sailboats there and also that big ship over there that is going by. All right, let me transmit. You see all the ships there? One, two, three, four. And the ship that is going by right now is this one. That is on, uh, that is like a purple color. It's that one right over there. See, that's why it's a different color. The ones that are anchored, it's a different color because they're not a threat, they just stay there. So, right now we're gonna see how far that boat is. Is half a mile. So he's half a mile over there. Yep, it's half a mile. And all these boats you see here. Are that crowd right there of all those boats. The reason these three look three together is because those three sailboats are together. So when the signal goes through, you'll see those three dots unite see it's because the sailboats are all together and after the sailboat you see another sailboat there another one here all right there's the big ship back there that big ship is this big crowd right here So it's a different color because it's moving. That's what I like about this radar is that whatever is moving, it's gonna show you a different color. That's why they call it the uh, Doppler effect. So you get a different color. You can see the land. It's reading all the land, all the way to the lighthouse, way over there. So it's reading all this um, island here, all this area here. 
I love this new radar because when I was coming over here, the Valeria um, ferry was coming behind me and I don't look behind me. So I saw a dot this color coming behind me. So I prepared myself to move to the side a little bit. So it's a great tool to have because you don't have to look everywhere. The radar is going to do a lot of the visual effect. See right here, there's three, four, five sailboats, right? Look right there. There's one over there, two, three, four, and five. So that's how accurate it is. It gives you all the sailboats. One, two, three, four, five. They're 22, a quarter of a nautical mile. And look at the big ship over there. I gotta clean this uh, glass, take that salt off. And there he is, right there. See how he's moving? The color has changed now to uh, non threat. Perfect. Love the new radar, it works excellent. It's a great tool to have. Tonight it's gonna be a nice sunset because there's no clouds. So look amazing. The night is falling, it's almost gone. Everybody's turning on their navigation light. 
turn mine on. Soon I will continue this video. And if you like what have you seen, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and navigate safe.